Guys, if you're wondering what we're doing, we are doing super damage testing today. What this essentially will allow us to do is to compare not only what the best super is going to be next season post, but where we start, where we are now, pre-season 21, pre-season the deep. We've actually been able to catch certain things. Sometimes buffs don't make it through when Bungie says that it's going to. Sometimes the buffs end up being way more than what they said it was going to be. Regardless, though, what we're hoping to achieve into today's testing is number one, hopefully a lot of you will lose a lot of eggplants. And secondly, I'm also hoping that we can come to the conclusion that Titans, Titans are meta, you know? We're gonna do this at Greg. Greg is wider, he's girthier, and with that girth, we're able to have more real estate to hit with our supers. And so we're gonna be doing our testing here at Greg, okay? Here's the thing. Lots of changes are occurring across the board for our subclasses. Golden Gun next season is getting a PvE damage bump by 20%. This is for both Marksman and Deadshot. We're going to show you where it sits now. And then we're going to show you with Celestial. And we're going to see where it sits in the rankings. The idea here, guys, is essentially go through this list of all these different things. Right? Go through this list and hit everything across the board. And then next season, we're going to do the exact same thing and compare damage values. How much did things improve? You know, did it improve? Sometimes things, Bungie messes up. They don't include the buffs. They're like, oh shit, we forgot about Nova Warp. They didn't include the buff. But at the same time, during this process, we're going to learn to optimize each one of these supers. Some of them a little bit easier than others, okay? With that being said, let's start with Golden Gun, both Marksman and Deadshot. I am currently on Deadshot. No exotic. Yeah, the damage, the damage. All right, now we wipe. Yeah, yeah. Remember, it's, it, it increases crit damage every single time. Now, is there any fragment that increases my, my damage at all? I know there's some that increases ignitions. Or will spark ignitions on kills. So 180,000. All right. Okay, so with knock him down, guys, Deadshot Golden Gun has more damage for this. Marshman Golden Gun has increased duration. Blaberon launches more projectiles. Okay, so Blade Barrage launches more projectiles, but nothing there on the Golden Gun side of things other than longer duration, more damage resist. Now that we got that out the way, let's break out Celestial. I'm not going to do Celestial with Deadshot, okay? We're just going to do it as Marksman. We know that the damage is not good there. All right, here we go. There's the juice. Whoa! 250,000! Meta. All right. Keep in mind, guys, it's one and done. You pop that thing, you gone. And hold up, hold up. With with the changes next season, you're tacking on a 20% buff to this. That's pretty hot, right? Now, let me break out thy feast. Everyone's going to ask about where's feast sitting in this. Again, it's going to be marksman, guys, but it's going to be with feast, okay? Oh, radiant buffs? That's right. Radiant buffs. Yeah. Oh my god. Let scrap me it, scrap it. Do it again. Let me let me go back to select wait wait wait. Doesn't surge mods also buff golden gun? Kinetic surge buffs golden gun. Oh my god! Okay, alright, alright. Now we're breaking You're out. Fudging the numbers though. That's not fudging. Yes, it is. How? We're taking advantage of everything. Like if I can buff Arc Staff's damage as much as I possibly can, that's not bugging. Did y'all see anything in the patch notes today about Bungie fixing it? Therefore, it is still gonna be a thing next. Look, 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 look. This is why eggplants is a problem. Everybody in here starts starts litigating this shit. We're gonna throw on some some surge mods with this. This is completely legit. People will end up using it. I, I would use it. I would use it. All right, I'm gonna rock Celestial. We're gonna rock Kinetic Surge. I'm also gonna proc Radiant. Hold on, let me make sure I've got the thing going. Which, which fragment is it that procs Radiant for my melee? Oh, I got it. Ah, <laughs> you got it already? Yes. Okay, beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can use Acrobat Dodge. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> yeah, his ass. Whoa! 311,000, baby. That's cooking. Oh, God, I shot him with my scout rifle like an idiot. It was 2,000. It was 2,000 more damage. Take that away. It's actually 311,000. Disregard that number. Now we're doing Surge. All right, so... Back to Celestial now, guys, with Radiant plus Surge. Oh! Huge. Passive. That was it. That was it. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Now, we're going to do Feast. Chat, now what we're going to do is we're going to do Feast plus Radiant plus Surge. 
kinetic surge. I know it sounds crazy. It's like, you know, why are we doing all this stuff? But to be honest with you, it's not something that's hard to proc. Before any damage phase, proc and radiant and picking up an orb. That's easy. Yeah, the damage. Did you miss? No. Oh, never mind. Beautiful. Ah, damn. What was the bets, by the way? What was the ratio? Ooh. Oh my God. It's like 50,000 damage each shot. Extra. That's hot. The, the one to eight ratio for solar, by the way. One to eight? Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. All right. I love this. Let's go to Arc Strider. I'm going to do Arc Strider. Let's just do Gathering Storm. Let's get the one and done out the way. All right. I'm going to go ahead and completely shit on everybody's hope here. Now, what can I possibly do to buff the damage? Is there any fragments or aspect combinations I need to have on here? Yeah! Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, it's still going. Oh! All right. Oh, Holy my God! 533,000. All right, moment of truth. Can Solar beat it? With knock them down, plus Star Eater Scales, and Blade Barrage. By the way, does Blade Barrage get boosted by any Surge mods? Yes or no? No. Does Radiant buff Blade Barrage? Radiant, it gives you more blades? Are y'all sure? I'll give you two runs, guys. All right. All right, Chad, I'm gonna get close to the balls like you asked. Go for it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah! I feel like, eh? Maybe. If that did more, that'd be hilarious. Why did some knives what? do like 2,000 damage? <laughs> Wait, I'm confused now. What, if, what, the, what the hell is happening here? It beat Gathering Storm. Oh my god! That's not Radiant active. But it, there it is. There it is. 534,000, guys. Which still outpaced. What was Arx at? 533,000? Oh my lord. That still did more chats. I will say it is RNG. Wow. But now let's take a look at Arc staff. The target energy is destructive arc light. They take additional damage while jolted and chaining lightning to nearby targets. Jolt damage causes. Okay, so I need to I need to actually cause jolts. Now keep in mind, Arc Staff is getting a 20% buff next season. What's the easiest way for me to jolt? Nades? Oh, actually, the melee. The melee jolts. Or after dodging, your next melee attack has increased lunge range, jolts the target. I've got lethal current, and I've got tempest strike, both of which do, does it. Is there anything here that I need to be rocking fragment-wise? No, nothing that boosts my damage. We're going to start off with Star Eater Scales, and then we're going to move to Raiden Flux, okay? What's the attack sequence? Two light and a heavy? Is that how I do this? That's all I can do, chat. That's literally the best I can do. I know it still look. It's there was a couple missed like melee hits, but I landed all the palm strikes. All the palm strikes I can land. Five hundred eight thousand four hundred sixty-six. We're gonna break out Raiden Flux now. Everyone's saying break out Raiden Flux. Now Raiden Flux here, guys. Synapse Junction. Quick successive attacks with Dark Staff increases damage output and duration. Let's see how this plays out. We're gonna still do the exact same thing. I missed one melee attack, one light attack, one really? light attack. Oh, this is the one. This is the one. That's it. GG's 570. 570 right there. Every one of them I landed. That's fucking go. That's fucking go. Money. Now, keep in mind, it took a really, really long time to get that. Too much of a setup? Not really, guys. This doesn't necessarily mean the best DPS. I will say this. It doesn't mean the best DPS because you're spending all that time. Popping that super, doing all the super damage. Whereas you could be, you know, running around using your actual weapons and doing a one and done super. All right, now we're going to actually see this Arc Staff with Phoenix Cradle. Your super, Nick, you have Phoenix Cradle where it says Soul Invictus lasts twice as long. Allies who pass through your sunspots are granted Soul Invictus and Soul Restoration. 
So all you need to do, I think, is just pop your super. Yeah. So you pop your super. That summons a sunspot underneath you, correct? So pop it kind of close to him. That way I'm kind of like getting into it. And then stand relatively close to it. Someone says keep throwing throwing uh, hammers at your feet. Actually, that would probably be the best. Pop that super. It. Chad, how much was that melee damage? Guys, I'm oh yeah, I don't I mean again the buff there from Soul Invictus, like someone said a second ago, it more or less buffs passively, right? Passively. We're utilizing it actively. Okay, not that much. It's 20, it's five more seconds. It adds on five more seconds. Somebody in the comment section right now is like, but Blight Ranger. Okay, attacks you re redirect with your arc stab deal massively increased damage to generate orders of power. Guarding with your arc stab does not consume extra super energy. Blast me, Greg. Blast me. Oh, but it, it just can kind of just stop. Better than I thought. I was not even expecting that. So this time, give me a uh, soul make this. <laughs> I pop your super now. Yes. You do so much damage, it literally gets staggered. That's Blast crazy. me harder. Harder, Greg. That's got to be 300k. All right. So we had Soul Invictus buffing our, buffing our duration. Oh, my God. Wait a wow. Minute. All right. That's, Wait a minute. <laughs> that's wild. I was not expecting that. Again, I will say this. Keep in mind, Greg is blasting constantly. Other bosses won't do this. But with that being said, I'm curious, like what Les said, what if we use it against some Wyvern and deflect it? I mean, you see, I, I, I mean, Wyverns essentially will one blast you. One blast and a Wyvern f you up. What if you can just sit there and just block it back to a Wyvern and, and just shit on him? Time to move on to the most meta super in the game. It's getting a, a whopping 35% buff next season. We are going to be using Spectral motherfucking Blades. It's going to weaken next season. going to be nice. Wizen's Vest is actually gonna... I know I don't have this one upgraded because I literally didn't give a shit about it. Each Spectral Blade kill you make before going into stealth will restore more of your super energy. Oh. Now, here's the thing. What's the sequence for DPS? I, I know this is not a major DPS monster, but what's the sequence here? Is it a light attack, light attack heavy? Or does it even matter? Heavy, light, light, heavy? Really? Heavy, light, light, heavy? Oh, yeah. Wolf, I think you're right. It's three light attacks and a heavy, right? This is one that I, I just... I don't even know, man. I, I haven't popped a Spectral Blade inside of PvE in years. One, two, three. Yeah! One, two, three. Yeah! One, two, three. Yeah! One, two, three. Yeah! Let me just try the light attack. I'm just going to spam the light attacks. The hit registration is getting fixed next season. Better than earlier. All right, chat. Now we're going to put on Star Eater Scouts. Yeah, 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 yeah. So much damage, so much damage. Oh my god, it's insane. The accuracy, chat. The accuracy. Oh. Uh. Oh my fucking god, Lowry, you're making it. Let me just say this. The Spectral Blade Super is so ass. So ass. Thank god it's getting a 35% buff. It needs it. Thank god it's applying weekend. It needs it. He needs it bad. He needs a 100% damage buff. Keep in mind, I tried right there. The inaccuracies are so bad. Now, Bungie has stated that they're going to be correcting that. 
It's going to be more consistent and it's going to land. I'm hoping it's going to help it enough next season. Again, I would love to be able to go inside of PVE and use Gwizzen's vest and run through there and clear ads. At the same token, who would rather use Gwizzen's vest when you can just use Tether? You know what I mean? Let us move over to Warlocks. Because Warlocks is getting some major changes. They actually may be the Meta King. Yes, we are. We're saving, we're saving Titan for last. The best for last, of course. The winners yet again, another year. Alright, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do Storm Trance right now. I'm gonna tickle fingers. Because remember, tickle fingers is gonna change. Yeah, majorly next. He's gonna activate maximum damage faster, guys. Isn't it getting a like 20% damage buff something like that? Some a 15? 25%. Oh my god, that's a lot. Yeah! Let's get it, baby. Oh my god, I need more damage resist. Thank god we're buffing the damage resist. <laughs> I didn't right. die right when you ended. <laughs> I, I, yeah, it was at the end. We're good. Dude, Greg was locked in on me, man. Oh! He did not miss. They were like eight bot for a Right? <laughs> 309,000. So much damage, chat. So much. Now, if I was to put on crown, this, of course, it says arc abilities are Joe Finables. Increase the recharge rate of your arc abilities and extends the duration of Storm Trance. All right. I got to proc conduction times first, right? Or will I proc it with my super? Again, I mean, conduction signs and, and crown is meant for, like, clearing ads. Keep all these ads alive. Do we have enough? I'm hoping more gets spawned. Y'all got a healing rift? Nope. Mother... Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, that was times too. Dude, this is straight up Palpatine shit. Alright. Wow. It's because I didn't get the landfall damage. I'm proccing conduction tines, but I didn't get the landfall damage. So I need to proc my my um arc abilities. There it is. There it is! Wow, it can serve so much. So much, chat. Beautiful, beautiful. Meta! Oh, I shot my shotgun off. Rip. All right, well, we had a little more damage on there. All right, ascending amplitude. Each target you defeat with Storm Train increases the damage you deal with it and refunds super energy. All right, so this time I want all of you guys. Is that is that 10 ads? I got to get 10 ad kills, right? 10 for max stacks. That's right. It is 10. All right, so keep all the thrall alive. Don't kill any of the thrall. And then run to Greg with me so we can attract all the thrall there. All right, we're going to spawn them all out. I'll let you know when we can run to Greg. All the thrall are going to come to us. All right, all of us are moving to Greg now. Yeah, I only have time six there. Calm down, Greg. Calm down. Both too much setup, guys. Let's just be real. It's too much setup. God, that's just extremely situational. It's extremely situational. I don't think we can hit because we had a lot of ads around us. I don't think we can hit any higher than that. Not here at Greg. I can see where it can be very beneficial in clearing a room, though. So I, I can see that. All right. Let us break out Digeo Max. Or let's break out Chaos. Chaos Reach by itself. And then I'm going to show y'all Geos. Yeah! Oh my god. Wow. That is so bad, dude. Oh my god. I didn't know it was that bad. Alright, Chad. Geomax. Let's see it. Yeah!
Beautiful damage. Wow. Wow. So essentially doubles it. Geo Max essentially doubles it. And so next season with the change, you're going to double it. Or you're still going to have the doubling effect. But you're also going to be applying Jolt. Now this applies to both of these supers. So still very i mean i i'm gonna be impressed with it. we're gonna have to see because jolt's also getting tuned down a bit so we're gonna have to see exactly what that equates to but including that you know the 25 percent more damage might be good guys might be good i've got ball of doors real quick again the thing here the thing here about shade binder it's getting a buff up by 10 percent next season Ball of Doors, which is actually a pretty good exotic, says that your Winner's Wrath Shockwave does increase shatter damage allies and Ranger Shockwave gaming an overshield and increased damage of Stasis weapon. So it's actually pretty nice damage. The fragment that there's a fragment that increases shatter damage. Um I thought it just increases the radius of your shatter. Like this one, Whisper of Fissures increases the damage and size. Oh, the damage and size the burst of your stasis when you destroy stasis crystal. Is that does that apply here? Okay, new eggplant bets. Will this break 450,000 damage? Getting that 10% buff next season, chat. Yeah. Oh. Damn. Regardless, it broke 470,000. It's getting a 10% buff. Gives you an idea. Ball of Doors. Ball of Doors with Shade Binder is actually good, guys. Really, really. It's actually good. Now, can it stand up to the to the likes of Brood Weaver? Hold on, hold on. I'm breaking out thy swarmers right now. I'm breaking out thy swarmers. My threadlings travel further. The swarmers right. do anything for the super? No, but it's the threadlings in them. Mm. Chat. Will Brood Weaver break 500,000 damage? That's a nice number to hit. That's a big number. But now, is that not including the uh, the rift effect when you get mul summon multiple hatchlings? I'm gonna I'm gonna do multiple 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 uh, threadlings there. Oh, I can I can see you hitting 500 like no problem. Chad, correct me if I'm wrong. I eat my nade first and then pop my rift, right? You eat your nade and then you pop your rift. Let's clear out these ads real quick. Copy that. Oh. <sighs> Chats. I'm gonna try that again. Yeah, I will try that again, guys. Didn't they actually uh, spawn on the crystal? Yeah. We're going to run it back, guys. Yeah. Get him, Threatlings. Yeah! Okay, that looked like a clean super shot. Oh, oh, God, man. dog, it chat. Nothing else Dumbling. is really getting... Oh, Nova Warp is getting... Oh, wow. Nova Bomb and Nova Warp are getting a buff. But do we have anything like that's bu that buffs void damage? Okay, these are all grenade related. Nothing here is boosting our super. You have to nade? That's not what we're trying to do here, guys. We don't want to nade. All right, I'm just going to drop a Nova Bomb. We're going to see how Nova, how Nova does. Chad, are you ready to see some insane damage? insane i say this is cataclysm it's a big ball of death no not even not even kind of good all right big damage your chat big damage yeah oh, and he just walks right out of it love it Ugh. Where's the, wow. where's the... Bring back the Nova Lance. Yeah, the Lance is pretty nice. Wow, wow that was that was not that impressive. Uh, chat, 
Can Nova Warp break 300,000 damage? What it, what was the ratio for 300,000? Currently, it's uh, one to three for yes. You got 28%. So 28% people say yes? Yep. Uh, one person voted 52,000 eggplants so far. Wow. What was that, like eight shots? You got like eight shots? I'm curious to know if I could actually activate that sooner. Wow! Damn, chat. Chat, could I actually pop that super faster? Imagine if we actually had an exotic that buffs the damage here. Nova War, by the way, is getting a PvE increase of 15%, and a fully charged attack will now make enemies volatile. So, big, big change next season, guys. I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to optimize it a little faster. See if that does anything. Make you play honey pop. Oh man. Oh damn, he fing boosted me. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I messed up bad on that one. So you definitely yeah. do want to take time to charge, but keep in mind. The thing that really hurts Nova Warp is the melees, man. Like, if you've got a boss like that or something like that, like hitting the melees and, and bumping you back, that hurts. But with that being said, though, um, I think against champions, there may actually be a play here next next season for this. I know we've kind of looked at everything uh, except Dawn Blade. I shall apply... It Was it Dawn Chorus the best thing that could buff damage? Yeah. Because it applies more Scorch. Let's see, chat. Oh, wow. Oh. Easy. 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 <laughs> gives, us a, gives us a general idea here, guys, of what we're looking at. Um, To the Titan class. Was there anything else? Exotic-wise? I don't think so. I don't think so. So, again, next season, Don Chorus. The reason why we threw on Don, Don Chorus on that. Don Chorus next season, they break projectiles. Damage bonus has been increased and no longer is reliant on the enemy being scorched. So that gave us a baseline. We'll be able to check it next season and, and see where it, where it shakes out. Now, in terms of what's being buffed on the Titan class, Fist of Havoc is getting lots of buffs next season. Chad, just to give you a baseline, I'm actually going to do Yeet first. This will give you kind of a baseline of what, we're, what you're looking at with the rest of your supers. A lot of people, you know, I think a lot of Titans do use Yeet. We'll give this will give you a just a base all right guys just give us a baseline real quick all right stand in a little bit longer thank you so much Greg. thank you thank you okay 435 greater nice. games yo big shout out to greater games now chad we're gonna just um, show fist of havoc real quick all right fist of havoc light attack cost reduced from 8.5 percent to six percent so Gonna conserve more heavy attack cost reduced. They also increase heavy heavy attack PV damage by 33%. Wow. All right. So we're gonna show Fist of Havoc. Now that we got this baseline, let me show Fist of Havoc right now and what it can do, what it can perform. So honestly, I really could be looking at the rock of place on where the buildings is uh, being built. Big damage. Okay, that was all heavy attacks. Again, in heavy attack is what's getting the third, the, the buff next season. Leave all the ads up. Um, uh, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing yeah, I'm doing the steps. Yeah. Big damage, chat. Big damage. I don't think enough actually followed us over. No, I had it. I had it the whole time. 
Okay. Yeah, it's got a huge radius on it. All right. That's going to be getting a 33% <laughs> buff. We'll see how that shakes out. Now, also what's getting a buff is Glacial Quake. So we're going to still keep Syntheseps on. We're going to do Glacial Quake right now. Is there anything that's boosting the super damage here? I don't think so. No. Now, for Glacial Quake, increase Shiver Strike Thrust Speed and increase Light Attack Damage by 20%. Do I... Do I want to throw Shatter? How do, how, what's the most, I've never actually like done DPS with the super. I always thought it was just, just heavy the whole time. Just do heavy damage the whole time? Yeah, I don't think the, the actual melee does much. I'm, I'm, go, I'm going to do, I I'm going to, it might shatter more. But, I'm going to do, um, oh shit, I'm, uh, I'm going to do one run with light attack damage. And then yeah. I'm going to do I'm one good. run. Yeah. I'm good. I got to pick up versus. I'll do one run with light attacks. And then I'll do one run with heavy chat. Oh. Those crystal spawn so far back behind him. I'm gonna try keeping my distance from him. Imagine playing this game for a living, not knowing that. Not knowing what, motherfucker? What are you talking about? What am I not knowing? The shatter damage? When was the last time you were like, oh my god, we gotta go fucking fuck up Nezirak today? Bring your behemoth! Said no one ever! What am I getting at music for? Ooh, this is actually doing a lot better. Oh, wow. The shatters, they matter. Okay, I stand corrected. I will go into every in-game PV activity <sighs> using Behemoth. I am now a Behemoth main. I'm a new man. Strand. Ark. The hell with with hammers. I am now a behemoth main. And you know what's crazy is Bungie is buffing. What they're buffing is the light attack damage. But that that doesn't even matter. Someone says now use the bubble strat. When you say use the bubble strat, like pop the bubble on Greg. Now use the exotic glaive. No, I can't. Why would I? That we're throwing in weapon damage. Yeah. Good job. Why not just use... Why not just use a... Does it not work with a regular bubble? Spam heavy in the bubble. The bubble instantly shatters the crystals. Yeah. Well, let's let's just try it with regular bubble. Chat, let's just try it with regular bubble first. So just go up with you bubble arm? Yeah, yeah. We're going to go bubble on them. Now, we've got Bionic Enhancers. Don't kill the ads. Don't kill the ads. Pop in a heating, but it doesn't kill any, any thralls, does it? <laughs> no. No, it should. But oh, okay. body enhancements is definitely off though. Yeah, he steps away. Yeah. I should have to get super energy. So extremely uh. impressive. The fact that we did that much damage a second ago though without any bubble strat. That was with no body enhancements too. It it says when the weapon energy is full, consume it before firing and make your next shot deploy a protective shield. There you go. Come closer, Greg. Closer, I say. Yeah. Oh, baby. We cooking now. We cooking now. Oh, my good. Really, Chan? Really? You made me jump through all those hoops to do... Mm. What I was already doing. Did we are. Do more? We already broke seven hundred thousand damage without having to do the bubble strat. I've I've definitely seen the video. I know what you are talking about. The point is, the point is, I think I'm losing biotic enhancements, and so that's why the damage is equaling out there. I would prefer to just do what we did a second ago, 
if there's ever a scenario in which we can proc bionic enhancements and do the damage inside of a bubble that would be perfect the light attack is kind of irrelevant right now like no i'll, I'll show the I'll, we'll show the light attack damage but i'm sure you guys can imagine it's not that good do do the legit combo heavy and then light attack i'll do i'll do the i'll do the legit combo so heavy attack then light attack I missed one of those. Not bad. I mean, still not bad. Again, though, man, that range shatter damage with bionic enhancements is so good. Let's try it one more time. I want. I want to just try it one more time. The bionic enhancements could say proc, and try to do the shatter damage from range. Oh. oh that is a lot of damage i had no i i had seen some videos but i assumed it got patched i assumed it got patched we're gonna test sentinel and hammers burning maw is getting a 10 percent increase hammer soul is also getting a 10 percent increase both of these I'm going to do with Syntheseps. We're going to do Burning Maul. I'm going to go ahead and just jump straight to it, guys. Now, here's the thing. We've been throwing Synthesep damage in there because that's maximum damage. I'm still going to keep trying to proc that. But this time, I'm actually going to roll in there with, with Roaring Flames. Because Roaring Flames actually boost that damage. Now, the main, the huge thing that's going to be a big change, it's not just the buff that we're getting next season. It's the fact that you're going to be able to apply Scorch with burning maul next season that the, the heavy cyclone attack will be able to apply that big damage yeah 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 and next season is going to apply scorching ignitions i don't know let's let's see what the damage looks like Very reasonable. Very reasonable. It's only gonna get better. What? Is this real? What the fuck is going on right now? I don't remember the damage being that high. Guys, I don't, I don't, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm questioning reality right now. Okay. I'm questioning reality. The damage here, I can't explain it. I honestly have no idea what the hell is going on. We just did 890,000 damage. With burning motherfucking maw. What? Alright, let me try just regular hammer out. How are you trying to get your roaring flames up from over there? Yeah. Whoops. Chad, I'm trying to proc a lot of different things and also maintain distance here. Guardian down. Guardian down. Test is kind of scuffed, but I'm so blown away by burning Maul's damage that it's just like... the 500,000 damage. Still pretty hot. We are stacking a lot of things though here, guys. We're doing Syntheseps. We're doing Roaring Flames. All that good stuff. Again, I'm, I'm just bamboozled about burning Maul. Is nobody else as shocked as I was that burning Maul did almost 900,000 damage? That is true. The health... Let's rerun it again. The health bar didn't quite look like 890,000 damage. That is true. Let me... Let me... Let me try it again. You are right about that. We ain't winning till we're spinning. <laughs> Guys, y'all need to give up on that fucking thing. Spin to win is not it. Perfect. Lasted the entire time. That's the damage meter down low. Not as good as the first damage, but still cooking chats. 
cooking. Les, you've missed a lot. We have we have made some discoveries. Do you want to tell me these discoveries or you want me to watch the video? So I want you to watch the video um, four or five times at block off. But I, I will also give you a TLDR. First up, first up, Behemoth Titan almost broke a million damage. It's fucking nuts. Okay. Secondly, we almost broke 900,000 damage with Burning Maul. Is this Synthoseps as well? It, it could be Synthoseps. And I actually wonder, could it be the fact that Bungie nerfed, did something to Synthoseps when they nerfed the Glaive interaction and somehow it buffed our super damage substantially? We're going to do Sentinel now. If Sentinel's doing some crazy damage, then it has to be something. Like if Sentinel Berserker does like 800,000 damage, then then I'm like, okay, Synthoseps is being, is being buggy. If not, then Burning Maul, Behemoth. Behemoth especially, less. Behemoth requires no setup. Yeah, it's just you just shattering shit. On just shattering range. all over and over again. And it's so good. It's it's just free. All right, chat. Doing Sindo now. Body enhancements go! All right. I even threw in a melee damage on that. Didn't look didn't look like it was cooking. Yeah. Yeah. But it is getting a buff. The main thing about the buff though, hold on, keep in mind this guys. Even though everybody's like that's so shy. It doesn't really I mean, it's getting a 20% PV damage buff. But but where it's really gonna show its strength is with exotics like Doomfang, where you're just throwing sentinel shields over and over again. That's going to be really, really nice next season. And so, although the damage is not the best, even with the throwing shields, it's the super regeneration, it's the constant regeneration of the shields and the ad clearing capabilities that makes it so good. Now, let us do Strand. Berserker. Berserker actually is really, really good. It has good damage. It's solid. And at, originally, I thought it was the best amongst Titan roaming supers. That was wrong. Unless it does something crazy right now that I don't know about. The ads up, guys. All right, let's see what we did, guys. See if we broke 700 or not. 655. All right, that's wild. I have been shook this evening, everybody. I came in here anticipating something completely different when it came to the rankings of our supers and super damage. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to see where things lay next season. And that's exactly why we're doing this, guys. This is going to be our pre-test. And then we're going to have a sheet. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to compare damage values and then compare rankings to what the damage values will be once the changes go live next Tuesday. We'll break things up. Warlock, Hunter, Titans, all that good stuff. Uh, to my to my Jensen here right now, Nick especially, thank you so much for jumping in and helping me, man. Guys, y'all have a good one, okay? I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Slide that like button like your mama told you right.